Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a cool looking about page using HTML and CSS. So this is the page we're going to be building, a name, Anna Johnson, UA UX designer and developer, a nice photo here. As you can see we have this uh, nice uh, sliced background, some uh, Laura Mipson text and this uh, button right here. If you like to learn how to do this and would like to see more of uh, videos like this, you should know that on this channel I post new videos almost every single day that will help you improve your skills as a web designer and developer so you can earn more money and improve the quality of your life. If you are interested in that, go ahead and hit the, subscri the subscribe button and also the bell notification icon and select all so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. With that being said, let's get started. By the way, all the resources, meaning this uh, background, uh, the sliced background in this photo, uh, I will provide them in the description uh, below. So I recommend that you grab them and code along with me. Let's get started. I have an empty folder here on my desktop and I'm gonna open it with my uh, uh, text editor, which in my case is uh, Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create uh, an index.html file. Excuse me, a style.css and a folder called uh, images. And I'm going to go to my desktop, grab these two images and uh, place them in the images folder. As I said, uh, there is a link in the description below. Go back to the editor and I'm going to create a basic structure, uh, change the title to about me page and I'm going to link my style.css. So style.css. Now for the structure, it's going to be relatively straightforward. I'm going to create a div with a class of container. Inside here, an h1, I'm going to say Anna Johnson. Uh, below this an h2 and I'm gonna say UI uh, UX designer and developer below this I'm gonna create a div with a class of image inside here I'm gonna place that uh, picture of the woman so go to images about me image and uh, for the alt and say photograph of me and uh, below the div I'm gonna place a p tag and I'm gonna say lorem let's say 30 let me wrap the text here okay and below the p element I'm gonna create an a tag with a class of btn and I'm gonna say get in touch uh, that should be it let's uh, open this in the browser so this is the structure. Now we need to move on to the CSS and make it look good. First, I'm going to go to fonts and Google uh, fonts.google.com because I need a special font. I'm going to use Roboto and uh, I'm going to get the regular one and uh, the bold one. Go to embed, click import, copy this uh, link right here and uh, paste it in the style.css. Now I'm gonna start with some general styling. I'm gonna select everything with the asterisk and remove the margin, so margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing, set it to border box. Select the HTML. I'm gonna give it a font size of 10 pixels. Now select the body. And let's place that uh, sliced background image. So background uh, URL images background. And uh, I'm going to say background position um, 0 and 1000 pixels. And the font family uh, Roboto Sans Serif. Okay. So far so good. Now uh, let's uh, start by styling the container class. So I'm gonna say that container and uh, give it a max width of uh, 
100, 1,100 pixels. Uh, margin, zero, top and bottom, auto, left and right. This will center it. And uh, padding, zero on top and bottom, and three rem on left and right. Give it a margin top of four rem. And uh, let's say text align. Align everything to the center. Take a look. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to start with the H1. I'm going to say uh, color. Let's give it that green color. So 398F51. Font size 5 RAM. Font weight 700. Letter spacing. Uh, let's give it 8 pixels. And the margin bottom. 2 RAM. Okay, good. Now uh, let's move on to the H2. So H2, color uh, 777, uh, font size 4 rem, and the uh, font weight 400. Okay, now select the div with a class of image, and uh, I'm gonna say margin top. Uh, 10 rem and margin bottom 5 rem okay good now uh, I need to move on to the paragraph so P I'm gonna say font size 2 rem color set it to white so FFF uh, line height 5 rem and the margin bottom 5 rem. Okay, good. Uh, let's place a bit more text. So, uh, lorem 10. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, and now, all we have left to do is the button. So, dot btn. Give it a display of inline block. A padding of uh, 2.7 rem top and bottom and uh, 7.5 rem left and right background give it a f6 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 so a gray color a font size of 2 rem a text decoration none to remove the underline a color give it that green color so 398 f51 border radius Set it to 10 pixels to have uh, the corners a little, a little uh, sorry, a little, <laughs> god damn it, a little rounded. <laughs> and the transition uh, background, 0 0.5 seconds. We want a nice hover effect with a smooth transition. And I'm going to say BTN column hover. Uh, background, DA, DA, DA. Okay, and that should be all. Let's check it out. And as you can see, this is the website, the web page I showed you in the beginning. If you if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you have anything to say or if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.